Hi guys, hope you all are doing very well. It's been so long since I actually uploaded a video and uh, I'm pretty excited first of all. Uh, well, I've been, uh, you know, caught up with a lot of stuff that's been happening in my life and that's why I wasn't able to, you know, concentrate much on doing videos. I was pretty stressed out about how everything was and since everything is finally on track i thought i should actually get back doing videos so the big update uh, is that i have moved to canada finally it's like a, a dream for me for a very long time now and i'm here to study so finally i'm here and i thought i could share a lot about my experience uh you know however i came and all the stuff that i'm experiencing i really hope that anyone uh, who wants to come here would actually benefit out of it uh, so i'm i would be posting regular stuff as well as the uh, stuff that is related to canada so i really hope you guys enjoy my videos and support me from here as well and if you're wondering what happened to my thumb you all know i just moved here and we all start cooking for the first time and all these mishaps happen so <laughs> that is what happened to my thumb as well uh, so to start off with uh, colleges uh, well we all know you know being a student is both exciting as well as uh, really overwhelming at the same time because there are so many aspects that you need to look into that we might miss out on certain things so i thought of giving you tips uh, and tricks to find out the right kind of course the right kind of college that can help you out we all know there are three steps uh, to the process of uh, becoming a student in canada uh, so the first is of course you need to find out the right kind of uh, college and course you will have to finalize that and then you have to look into the requirements needed for the course and of course most of the colleges will ask for your IELTS course that is your second step and once you've done this you can go back and apply to the colleges that you have finalized with your IELTS score and then finally after getting the offer letter you will be applying for the visa and once everything goes well you are finally flying to Canada. I know I pretty much made it sound very simple but it's not all that simple. Uh, of course there are certain steps and process that you will have to concentrate on especially your documents you will have to be very clear and precise with your sop there are so many things to do but first in this video let me talk about colleges so i am currently uh, you know pursuing my project management course at uh, lambton college sanya so why did i choose this course i'm going to you know break it down to you guys so first of all i have a background in engineering and uh, next the courses that are more likely to you know fall within my interest and which also falls in line with my previous uh, experience and my previous course uh, so these are the two options that i had on mine one was mba and the other was project management and of course i i wanted to choose project management i was more inclined towards it and that's the reason why i chose project management so i'm going to give you guys my way of choosing lambden college so i guess if i can give you an idea of why i chose this course you guys will also be able to you know look for aspects that are important to you now i had certain aspects on my mind and that is why i chose lambton sarnia you guys will also have you know different aspects in mind and that's how you have to finalize on college so after i applied to different colleges i did get uh, offer letters from couple of other colleges too the reason why i chose lambton sarnia is a Lambton College uh, Sanya actually offered me 
uh, co-op program which is um, you basically get around uh, six months to work with a Canadian uh, employer which is definitely important uh, you know as a student here only if you do that you will get a credit here to complete the course so that is a huge huge advantage as a student when you're working with a Canadian employer so that's one reason and also, uh, you know, during the co-op period, uh, the college will not get any fees from you. So this is again another advantage. So you have six months where you will actually be working and you will be earning for that. So that is one reason. Number two is that Lambton College is very economical. If you compare it with any other college, it actually offered me uh, $3,000 uh, scholarship for my IELTS score. So that is one of the biggest advantage for me, a student coming from India who wants to do, do a Canadian course with, uh, you know, something that is quite economical for me. So that is one reason. Number three is that Lambton College actually offered a two-year course plus co-op as in one and a half year course with co-op which makes it a two year course so when you're doing a two year course here in Canada it becomes a, a three year stay back period so you will get a, a, around three years of work experience here so this is again a long span because when you're doing a one year course you will usually get around eight to 12 months stay back but when you're doing a two-year course you'll get a three-year stay back which is definitely great so that is also another reason why I chose Lambton Sanya the final reason is simply because Lambton Sanya is very economical uh, you know Lambton Toronto and Mississauga everything you know everything falls under the same line uh, but I still chose to go with Lambton Sanya because um, I actually like the infrastructure it was quite important to me I wanted the exposure of different uh, students across the world and also I wanted to study in a campus where it is completely equipped with lots of extracurricular activities uh, but whereas Lambton Toronto or Lambton Mississauga both these colleges uh, you know they are a city campus and that's the reason I didn't want to choose it but uh, a lot of people go for that mainly because it's of course it's in the uh, better place when compared to Sanya. Sanya is just a, a growing city. So these are basically the reasons why I chose Lambton College uh, Sanya. So I guess you guys got an idea as to why I chose this. I, I know this video is not very professional. It's just you can consider this as a friend telling why I chose this college and how you can also consider while you know searching for colleges. Make sure you have a lot of time uh, before you know applying for a particular uh, course mainly because uh, you will have to uh, analyze you know different colleges and different universities based on your budget and then if you are someone who wants to get an educational loan you will need a lot of time uh, and also there is a time span for your uh, visa application to get processed as well so make sure you have at least eight eight to ten months in hand before you your course actually begins now this will actually give you the time to make sure you are finding the right course at the right place at the right university or college and and of course you will be ready financially and mentally as well the reason why i'm asking you to go through an agent is because I actually went through an agent and uh, the application for Lambton was actually free because if I had to do it alone, I, it would have costed me uh, $100. But when you're going through an agent, it was actually free. So this is one of the reasons why I'm asking you to go through an agent, but you can always do it alone. 
also the problem problems with the agent is that uh, a lot of people told me that the agents are not providing the necessary information to the students they kind of keep the the gc key details and everything with them and this of course uh, you know becomes a problem in the future when you actually want to check what happened with your visa and everything and all the credentials are with the uh, agent it's going to be a problem for you so make sure you have the control over everything is just that they're just going to guide you through this process so before choosing a university or a college these are the things you need to keep in mind do your own research uh find out what is your budget first of all because that is quite important uh because when you compare colleges and universities universities are a bit expensive so you need to keep all that in mind uh when deciding on a course so you need to fi finalize whether you want to go for a college or a university and then uh finalize on where you want to study and how many years you want to study all this you need to finalize and once you are done with that uh go ahead and give your ielts test once the test is done then you can go to the agent and tell them that these are the colleges you are looking to apply for and then you can go ahead with your application process and wait for the offer letter to come through from the college so these are the things that you have to keep in mind i'm not going to tell you which are the good colleges which are the bad colleges you have to do your own research you have to find out which one is going to suit your needs and necessities because everyone has their own uh, perspectives here so make sure you do your research it's very 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 important do your research find the right college and all the best i really hope that this video helps you out uh probably i will share more details about ielts test and the documents needed for your visa your sop all these videos i will be putting up soon of course i will also share some lifestyle videos here in canada hoping to see you also bye